Hey guys, it is Greg again. If you landed here, please do me a favor, smash the like button and smash the subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated, help the brother out, maybe grow his YouTube channel, put a little bit more common sense out there. Most importantly, keep people from getting wrecked and make them rich. Maybe not now, but it's coming guys. I'm gonna show you some evidence that you're not going to hear about it out there in the mainstream uh, YouTubes in the cryptoverse. You know, the boom boy, the moon boys have finally said that we're in a bear market at the bottom after Bitcoin has dropped. What is it? 60 percent, 55 percent or something like that. They finally admitted that we're in a uh, bear market or bear cycle. However you want to pull. I say like to say bear cycle, but bear market is starting to catch on just because everybody else is saying it. So personally, I think we're in a bear cycle completing a fourth wave correction, and we're gonna go up on a fifth wave. Now, this uh, article here came out uh, today, is Bitcoin an inflation hedge? And then they go in here and they talk about it, accumulating Bitcoin. Um, let's see, over here, this is better than an inflation hedge. Right here, guys, see this area? You buy it right there. Bitcoin goes up into these areas, sell some and you sell some here now if you want to keep a little bit you don't want to sell it that's fine you have to remember though if bitcoin does this okay as a, as an example it goes like that you have to remember next step is like this i don't know about you guys but personally i don't, I don't want to be in that holding a lot of bitcoin just me. It doesn't look like it's going to be too pleasant. If you have a big bag of Bitcoin, it's going to go down there again. That's just my take on it. So here's Bitcoin. They're going over the markets. The uh, alt markets are getting hammered, which is finally, I'm like, finally, like it's going down. I was excited for this. I'm going, okay, these coins are going to start hitting my targets I've been talking about, which is really good. But here we got Bitcoin. It's not, not really doing much. I'm thinking maybe it's, uh, you know, it's a strong asset. It's the father of all the cryptocurrencies. And uh, I mean, I, without a doubt, man, guys, Bitcoin is a strong asset. There's just no doubt about that. So maybe it's, if this is finally the start of it, you know, you can't rule out that it's gonna do this, come down to here in, in a move like an X wave and then pop back up here. Whether you wanna call that ABC or WXY or something like that, that is a possibility. Me personally, I hope not. I'm just like Bitcoin, let's just get done with it. Drop down here, let's just get done with this correction. This has been going on for a while, hasn't it? You know, the fourth wave, I'm starting to get fourth wave jitters myself too. I don't. I have very little, I'm 99.99% cash, 99.99, cash. I'm all in cash or USDC, okay? So it's starting to frustrate me too. I'm like, man, is this fourth wave ever gonna end? So get it down here, down there. And then I'm going to start DCA in in this area, guys, okay? That's what I'm going to do. This is my target area is right around in here and, and, and stuff like that, okay? So I want to show you guys some more information on some charts. I've been going over some charts. So uh, bear with me. Be a little bit patient. I'm going to show you some really, really good evidence that uh, what I think is that some sort of significant I'll say bottom is coming up or significant, uh, something significant is coming up, okay? So let's go over here. This is the total three market cap. What this is, is this is all of the uh, altcoins, including Ethereum. This is what this chart is, okay? Massive amount of uh, volume increase throughout here too. I'd look, look how slow that volume was. And this thing still did a moonshot like that. It's incredible. I mean, incredible, incredible structure. Very, very bullish, extremely bullish. Okay, if you see here, I'm gonna take that trend off, guys. Just bear with me, pay attention. You see this up here? Take a look at that. Look at that down there on that RSI. And then if you go over here, it's lower than that. You see what that is? You know where that's from, guys? That's from the 2018 bear market. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Right here to here, right there to there, divergence. I think it's getting ready to do something in there. Now, could it go lower? It could. Could this go lower? You always have to keep the bearish, the bear 
options in the back of your mind. Okay. Um, but I think something significant is coming up. I think it's really, really interesting. Could go down a little bit more. So be aware of that. Here is the uh, total three market cap. So what this is, this is all of the altcoins excluding Ethereum. So Bitcoin and Ethereum is not in this uh, chart, included in this chart. You have a move here, move here. Let's take a look at this one. Look at down there. You see how deep that is? Here's the second wave that it did. It took that out. And here is the 2018, the end of the bear market right there. You see that? Took it all out. Okay. And this thing, I guess once it's down here, let's say it goes down here. Maybe it's going to go down a little bit more. Maybe do a little bounce and come down here. You know, they'll still going to say, oh, bear market, bear. You know, it's, once it gets down here, guys, it's running out of, uh, you know, space, of just momentum. You know, it's, at some point it's going to consolidate and then make a move out of there. That's what I'm saying. So that's to me vitally important. That's what I'm looking for. I like what I see here. The DXY. For those who are not uh, familiar with the DXY, it's the uh, measuring the uh, strength of the dollar against other currencies. Okay, and the dollar is getting stronger against other currencies. But this is important because Bitcoin trades more like a commodity. Not trades, it, it has price action more like a commodity, and then you want to use this chart. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be the third wave here, if it's coming up to complete the third or if it's there, because that wave doesn't really match this wave. So I'm going to play it on the safe side and say this will pop up. It's going to make some divergence, and then it'll come down maybe in a correction, and then maybe make that fifth wave create divergence. So what that means at the end of this, this uh, this is going to go into a multi-year correction over here, guys. Just like this. How this will play out, who knows? But it'll be a multi-year correction, just like it did right here, up right here. Okay. So once this is complete, I'm thinking right around in this area, wherever it gets up to. I think 106 to 109 is going to be the area. It might not get up that high, but I think possibly to be that high. But once it's in this area, it starts completing the correction. That's when I think the uh, correction for Bitcoin will be finishing up down here. Take the DXY, starts trending down, Bitcoin, correction, consolidation, and then up. My take. Ethereum got hammered today. It almost made it to 1400. It made the low of 1502 so far. And I do think there's more downside with Ethereum, guys. Um, I don't know. You have to realize this is a very bullish coin. And just look at the overall chart. This is this is massively bullish. Um, so RSI levels might not get down to where I would like to see it lower, but this is looking good. It, it, it's even with the uh, 2018 bear market right there. It could go down a little bit more. So I still think uh, possibly it'll 1400s. Um, at least 1400 you know i it thousand the thousand is is could be an area too right here in this area now these two these two red lines that i have i use these fibonacci it's based on fibonacci time so something in this area significantly and maybe a month later is what i'm kind of looking for with ethereum so somewhere right around the 20th of june and then a month later around the 18th 19th of july is so i'm kind of going okay what's going to be going on with ethereum to see what it can do. So, but I mean, overall, Ethereum, as far as its correction, is looking really good. It's a healthy correction. There's no issue that I see with it yet. Just maybe a little bit more on this RSI and take take that out. And you can see, too, if you go all the way over here, 2016, you know, it see how it didn't really correct that cycle, making that a two. It's coming over here, possibly even taking all that out too might wind up a little bit and go back down. So just to let you guys know, USDC chart, it's kind of trending the same as the uh, DXY chart, but it's going to be coming up on a correction as long as it doesn't take out any of that on the RSI, but it'll make that bearish divergence. And then the USDC coin will be going into a correction like that, down. That means people will be exiting out. You can see, you know, like say here, uh, July, that was the end of the uh, correction that happened and started in May and went through July. And you can see 
people exited out of that. So that'll happen over here too. Something over here is coming up too. Um, take a look at Solana chart. Solana's chart's looking pretty decent, pretty decent on the on the three day chart. Um, I think it's looking pretty decent. I think Solana's is uh, my first target, 30, 31, and it's already hit 33, 34. So maybe you can wander down back to 22, 23, and maybe even down a little bit lower, 19. Be a much better price for uh, Solana. All right, two guys, I want to go over the oil. This is a big thing with the oil because it has to do with the inflation or it's related a lot to it, is that the oil is making divergence too, guys. So here's the deal with oil. Oil is going to keep trending up a little bit for some time, and then it's going to be doing a correction also. How deep this will be, I don't know. But, I mean, at the end of the day, here's a third wave peak. It's going to, if it doesn't take that out, you know, as long as it doesn't, if it takes it out, your third wave just extends. That can't happen. But it's looking like there's some divergence going to be made here and bring the price of oil down. I just wanted to review these charts with you guys. Real quick to let you know what I'm looking at, um, investigating and researching on the charts. And these right here are looking really good, in my opinion. That's what I want to see right there. Boom. And then on the uh, total three, which is the altcoins, come down. It's taking everything out. Starting to look good. You know what that means? For those who don't know what that means, it's resetting its whole cycle, getting itself wound up in here, okay, to find a correction to, boom, make another run. Thanks for watching, guys. Made it all the way to end. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Peace.